Baba TV. Oh, you came to this channel. Oh, I've been waiting for you. I mean, you in particular, you the viewer of this video. What do you find of it? Just Baba TV. Full length movies, short movies, a lot of edifying spoken word, musical videos, interactive section, interviews of your favorite celebrities. Oh, please just do well to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of our new released content. I would love to see you once again on Fair Joe's Baba TV. Fair Joe's Baba TV. Baba mi Baba I want to see you once again. Bye bye. Hello Robert, this is Julia. Do you remember me? We met at the club last night. I just want to tell you that I really need that money you borrowed from me. Should I come over to your house to get it? No. Okay, well, give me a call when you're covered from your hangover. Hey fool, why don't I get my money? Did your mama borrow you from God? Do you do anything in this world except borrow from? Hello Mr. Robert, this is Pastor Harris calling. I'm sorry for bothering you again, just calling to remind you of the invitation I gave to you to the men's fellowship dinner of our church. Jesus loves you so dearly, he cares for all your troubles. And Shoot your damn mother! Where are the files though? Thank you. Good morning, gentlemen. As you already know, we found your proposal interesting. Thank you so much, Mr. Godfrey. Here at Bobtech, we take great pride in our product. That's nice to hear. However, we have a problem. It seems like this is a social networking site. We could do this on Facebook. No, we disagree. Facebook is a highly developed site that has proven its efficiency, but it's been designed for networking among friends than with business partners. Our product has been designed more for networking among businesses. Our security is also great. That is because there's nothing to break into. While other sites are placed on the World Wide Web, this stays within our server. This makes it harder for hackers to get in. That's interesting. But we find your, we find your service charges too high. Sir. I know it seems so, but that is not true. We have some maintenance cost. Yes, sir, we're going to hire a service to work on it full time. Okay, we'll, we'll get back to you. Thank you so much, Mr. Godfrey. Thanks. All right. You think you got it? Of 
course you got it. It's a big company. You have to go through all that bookcase stuff. So what are you doing tonight? <laughs> Not now, team. <laughs> I need no distractions, I'm serious, no distractions. Alright. Sir? No distractions, I'm I'm working. Your fiance is on the phone. There is my only distraction. <laughs> Put her on the phone. <laughs> okay, sir. Hey sweetie. Hey, how is work? <laughs> work is fine. I, I just finished the meeting now. Who is that? Oh, it's just Tim and that other man. Anyway, what's up? Jerry was talking to me. He said he couldn't get you. What does he want? He was checking if you guys are still booking the same room for the reunion dinner. Oh, okay, yeah. That definitely sounds good. Okay, but I've been thinking. About what? I'm wondering if it's not too late to change the location for the reunion gathering. Niagara has too many casinos. I really don't want your gambling problem to come back. No, 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 no. I'm a new man. Don't worry. I've gone through all the sermons and everything. I've gotten over the gambling. Robert, I'm worried about you. Babe, stop this thing. You don't have to worry. I've stopped gambling. It's okay. I've ended my gambling problem. There is nothing to worry about. Okay. If you're sure. Yes, I'm sure. Take care of yourself, okay? Okay. Bye. This boy is not picking his call. Hello, Dad. Ah, praise God. At last. Hello, son. How's mom? Fine. I've been calling your numbers for the past 15 minutes. Why didn't you pick my calls? Ah, Dad, I did not see your phone call before. I just looked at the caller now. Okay. Where are you? I have lost the description of your new office. And we need to talk urgently. I'm in town. Can you send me the description of your office so that I can input it in my GPS? Ah, that, I'm far away in a business meeting in Korea. I'll talk to you maybe next week. Far away in, in Korea? Why did you tell me you will be away from town when I was talking with you last week? And you did not tell me you were coming to see me, driving all the way from Kingston to Hampton just to see me. Eh, well, why well, you will not pick the calls? Now, praise God, you pick my calls. Can we talk now? Ah, Dad, I'm far away in a business meeting in Korea. I cannot talk now. The CEOs are sitting right before me now. I have to, I have to attend to them. Even if it is just for five minutes, it's very important and I promise that... What? Dad? I'll call you back when I get home from the trip. Okay, and safe joining. We will see when you come back from your trip. Look at this boy. Jesus. This man, won't you let me be? Must you drag me to a religious spider web? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Son. Son. At 25, young and unmarried, you are already the director of your own company. Your success is very fast. Yet, you don't have time for the Lord God who made your success very fast. You are brought up in a Christian way from a well-devoted and God-loving family. But you left university 
and you became something else. Drinking, gambling, moving about in the company of women of easy virtue. So, I have decided to come and talk to you face to face and to tell you to stop running away from your God, your mother and I, and the family, including the church, are praying for you. We are praying for you. in a company that has to do with technology. Congratulations. So <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so when are you starting now? This coming Monday, man. Hey. And, and then they are mostly young guys. The setting, the setting of the office is just different from the way I expected. What's the name of the company again, Bob? Bob, Bob Tech, man. Bob oh, Tech. Bob Tech, Bob Tech, Bob Tech. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. As I was meditating this morning, the Lord dropped something in my spirit, I want to share with you. Okay. Let me take the Bible. In Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You know you are not your own. And God, remember, God has sent you there for a purpose. So, Olivier, remember, when you get to that place, you must be an ambassador for him. You must be productive for him. Just look and focus on God. Make sure that you focus on God. Ah, we have to celebrate. <laughs> Your daddy must hear this. <laughs> hey, we must celebrate this. Oh my God. Oh, oh, we call you. your daddy. I'm we have so to call your daddy. Daddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The file? Yeah, they are with me here. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, I've done exactly that. Okay, no problem. Now? Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay. This game is fine. Thank you. Come in. Olivia, this is splendid. The time you have spent in this company, you have shown your true dedication to work. I like that. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for the word of encouragement. Sir. No problem. Um, sir? Yes? Um, can I talk to you? Yes, I'm all yours. It, it's about your life, sir. What about my life? Okay. Uh, God has impressed in my heart to tell you that He's been seeking for your attention, but you've rejected him. Really? Sir, he's been he's been knocking at the door of your heart, but you've you've refused to open. Is that so? Sir, and like a father, he's been crying out for your attention. But you you've allowed the things of, of this world to, to take his place in your heart, sir. That is because he has no place in my life. Look around you, Olivia. What do you see? Mass unemployment. People remain jobless today because they depend on God for everything. To feed them, to take care of them, to think for them. I refuse to remain in the rank of fools. If I depended on God for everything, I would have ended up like them. Sir, sir, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? No, my dear. The question is, what shall it profit a man to gain his wretched soul and lose the whole world? Sir, sir, why gamble on his grace? Because I don't need his grace. And let this be the last time you mention this. This is a company, not a church. When you finish from here, just get out of my office. Nonsense.
Jay Sweet. Thank you. Reservation for Tim and Evelyn. Tim and Evelyn. Okay, can I have your credit card and your uh, piece of ID, please? Yeah, okay. All right, awesome. All right, I have you in room 111. Here you go, sir. Are you staying? And also Robert and Jennifer. Robert and Jennifer, okay. Yes, I have them in room 232. Thank you. There you go, sir. Thank All right. You very much. Enjoy your stay. This is Niagara. Yes, I know. I've been here several times before. That's what I'm saying. Be careful. About what? The temptation of doing all sort of nonsense is high here. Jennifer, don't spoil the phone for me. I know what I'm saying. Keep off gambling. You know I have gambling under control. Don't worry about it. Okay, if you say so, let's go. He was speaking to you from South Korea. Yes, I never knew I could see him. 
I tried to locate the description of the new office that he gave me when last we talked. I couldn't find it. But God took me to the exact office parking lot. And I didn't know. So while he was telling all those lies, I was sitting in my car. Mm -hmm. And he walked into my hands. Hey, God. But, but why is this boy now avoiding us? It is not we that he is avoiding. He is avoiding the true word of God. He is avoiding what we stand for. He now lives in the city of Almaty, living recklessly, gambling with his money, dipping his hand into immoralities. Oh God. This boy grew up under this roof as a gentleman. And he entered college as a God fearing boy. <sighs> His entire life changed when he entered the university and mixed with bad friends. He suddenly forgot the Lord God and the Word of God. That have kept him going. My God. My son, I prayed for him every day. How can he now be the God he was not? I know, I know, I know. I know he cannot run away from God. He can't run away from God. Our Lord God. Our Father, I present before you our son Robert. The wind of your wordness and rebellion has blown him away from your presence. You, God, who sees mighty storm with the word of your mouth, we pray. That he will arrest every storm in the life of our son Robert in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Send your words to our son today. Our God, we pray that he will take away every storm in his life in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Robert, wherever you are, we pray now. That you will know no peace until you come into the light of God. Oh man, my girl has been boring, man. There's nothing yeah. to do right now, man. Nah, please, man. We could go to, could go to a restaurant. Oh, oh like, please, come on. Man. Please, oh, please. I know. I know a couple of good ones. Oh, come on, man. That's the hat. That's the hat. That's the hat. Come on. That's what I do with my girlfriend, anyways. Girlfriend. Two, two, guys, guys. Let's do guy stuff. What do you think? 
Guys, I have an idea. Why don't we all go play some cards? Cards? Oh, yes. yes! And I have something we can do with it. We can play cards for money. That is even better idea. We can idea. play cards for money. Who's the trusted in that, man? That's a sick idea. Yes! That's a better idea. That works. We can play cards for money. And you know the surprise I have a place we can go to. <laughs> I have a place we can go. It's not just far from here. We can go. Who's ready? Yo, let's go. Let's go. Sure. Let's go, man. Let's go. We got the money, man. That's a sick idea. Yeah. And I know, I know a place you can go to. I have this place in my house. Let's do this. Let's do this. You know me. Let's do this, man. I hope you're not planning on going out with them after what you've been through. So what? So what? Like, you know you had a gambling problem? One, I'm fine now. Two, it's not a gambling problem. You always win. Wow. All right. Fine. Fine. You are not going? Me. No? I'm not going. I'm going. I'm going back to the hotel. I'm going to sleep and. Rest. Okay. All right. Hello, mom. Hello. Hello. How are you, Robert? I'm fine. I cannot talk right now. I'm, I'm in a business meeting. I'll talk to you later. Wait, wait, Robert. Could you please spare me three to five minutes out of your time, please? Three minutes is a lot of money for business people. Okay. When can we really talk, Robert? Okay, uh, mom, I promise you, um, after the meeting, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have plenty of time to talk to you. It's a deal. Okay. When exactly can we talk? I'm in a business meeting. Maybe next week. Like when? when? Next week when? Thanks, mom. Talk to you soon. What did you say? Say this in a business meeting. Business meeting. <laughs> it's lying. He said it to me in the afternoon. You guys have fun. Have okay, fun. Man, okay, man. I'll see take you guys. Take care of yourself, man. Alright, take care, take care. Right. Have okay, fun, right? Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's take let's take couple. Okay, we can take my SUV. Yeah, better. Right. I don't want to waste my gas, you know. If he ain't following Christ, he can't lead you. I ain't trying to deceive you. I know we look better than most men. But without Christ, looks are no reason for bragging and boasting. You got your heart on him, now you can't depart from him. You knew from the beginning not to even start on him. Compromising your faith for sex, hurting yourself and God, cause you outside a marital context. What's been blessed as the chosen few? Mommy, if he ain't rolling with Christ, then don't let him roll with you. Cause you been blessed as the chosen few. I raise you 30 for 20. Uh, let's make it 70. Whoa. 70. Full house, guys. Who's the boss here? <laughs> yo, yo, Bob. I'm not seeing you playing any game. You used to be the king at this game. You never lost any game. No. I don't do this anymore. It's okay. Oh, come on. Since when? Just one game to kill you. Come on, man. You are the king at this game. Come on. Let's do this, Bob. Let's do this. Come on. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Just one. Just one. Give me these cards. That's yes, that's that's Let me teach you how to play the impa. Oh yeah. Are you ready to do for fifty? Yes, let's do it. Mm. Let's see what you have. Ah, who's the king of this oh, game? Yeah. I told you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> I told you the king of this game. Did I? <laughs> Did I tell you? Did I tell you? <laughs> that's my boy. That's my friend. Wow. I taught him how to play this game. All right, guys. Let's play another game. Why don't we make it a hundred this time? Hundred. Yes. Four oh, hundred. Let's do this one more time. Oh, Andre! Bob, come on, man. I'm done. I'm done, friends. Oh, come on, Bob. Andre, I said Andre. Bob, come on. That's my game two. Who's going for it? Two hundred. Two hundred, Bob. Two hundred. What did you just say? Two hundred. You got a problem with that? <laughs> no. Come on, give me these cards! Hey! Oh, come on! Uh, Bob, let let's do this, Bob! Let's do this! Let me have it. Serious.
Sweet Niagara, my name is Rebecca. How may I be of service to you? Good morning. I'm looking for a couple. In the hotel? Yes, please. Okay, their names, please. Um, yeah, Rhonda. Rhonda, is that the first name? I am not sure. All right, I'll see what we have here. Um, uh, we have here Ben and Rhonda Davidson. Yeah, yeah, Ben. That's the name. Ben, Ben. All right. All right, ma'am. I'll put you through now. Hello? Hi, Rhonda. It's Jennifer, your husband's friend, Robert's fiance. We met last night at the lobby. No, it's okay. Um, is your husband in the room? No, he's not back yet. Do you know where they are? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe they went gambling. Gambling? Ben and his friends, they like going to gamble whenever we're at Niagara. And you didn't go with them? No, I don't like gambling. But I don't know why my husband still likes it. What's the problem? I just woke up and discovered Robert has not been in the room since we got back here yesterday evening. Uh, they should all be gambling right now. Hmm, do you know where? Um, ben loves going to 25 Princeton Drive to gamble, yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I know, but I want the first two. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. But oh, you've lost 3,500 already. 3,500. Come on, let's stop this game. There's no for the See? Let's go. Let's go. You want know me? Yeah, man. Rob, let's go more game. Let's go this chapter once and for all. Let's make it 5,000. Pedro is raising the stake. <laughs> what did you just say? 5,000. You win this, it takes all your initial losses. But you lose. <laughs> but Robert never loses. Robert, but that's too high. That's too high. Let us go. We're done for the night. Look at it. No, no. I have to clear my loss with this one game. Give me this card, sir. <laughs> Robert. Come on, let's do it. <laughs>
It's me, Tony. I'm sorry to disturb you again. Is your husband back into the room? My husband? My, my husband is not yet back. Is Robert back yet? That is why I'm calling. It's already 3.20 a.m. and he's not back into the room. They're still there gambling off their heart and money. Can you imagine? Is that why they brought us here to dump us in the room and go about gambling their money? Don't worry, I'll I'll go look for Ben. I've been there around 3 a.m. already and I saw them and I was disgusted and I left them there. Anyway, thank you very much. Please, you need to talk to your husband. Okay, I'll surely talk to my husband when he gets back. I'll do so. Alright, bye. Ben, Robert did what? Robert is a fool. Rhonda, Robert is a big, heavy, stubborn fool. I've warned you of these gambling issues of yours. I told you that it will land us into trouble one day. And now, see what you have done. Uh, why did you allow him go this far? I did nothing. I was just there watching. Just watching. You were watching and you watched him gamble away $150,000? But come to, if he had actually listened to me, he would have come out of that place a big boy. Richard and Richard and he went into the place. This guy won hundred thousand dollars just from the first games. This stubborn guy didn't even listen. You, you still wanted to go. He was being deceived by one by one guy that came and told him to, to come and bet for on half a million dollars. Stupid guy dropped all the hundred thousand dollars that he made with including everything he had in his pocket. Everything went like that. That was when he lost the game and crumbled. Ah, he know. lost everything. Everything, including the capital for the new business that they're, that they're, they're about to start, the Bob Tech. So his business is gone? He even still owes one guy $10,000. Why? Is, is he stupid or what? Hello, Jenny. Is Robert back in the room yet? Not yet back? No, Ben is not back in the room yet. Not yet back? But I thought you said you were going to look for them. It's, it's 4, 10 a.m. Must they gamble all night? Don't worry, I'll get back to you now. Ben, we have to go and start looking for Robert right now before he does something stupid to himself. No. Wait, let me call that. Let me call his business partner Tim. It's 111, right? Mm -hmm. Tim, wake up, wake up, wake up. 
Hey Ben, what's up? You just you just listen. Uh we have to go look for Robert urgently. Why? What happened? I suppose you guys went out last night together. Yes, we did. Robert played a lot of games and lost a lot of money. What? Like how much are we talking about here? Well, same. I am afraid Robert lost over <laughs> uh, $150,000. What? Jesus. Holy Jesus! Is he crazy? Has he gone mad? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my goodness! Tim, what happened? Our coffee is finished! What are you talking about? That stupid man has gambled away $150,000! What? Of company money! $150,000 of company money! <sighs> Oh my god, Evelyn. How do we pay our salaries? Our taxes? How do we keep the grand company running? How do we keep the company going? Oh our company is finished. It's ruined. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Yes, this is Jenny. Tim, what happened? Is Robert there? No, Rhonda just asked of him. He's still out there gambling. Exactly what I'm trying to tell you. What? Your man is a damn fool. He messed up big time. Robert just gambled away his assets in a developing company. What? Ben just informed me he lost $150,000 gambling. Oh my God, oh my God, where is he now? Well, we don't know where he is. He has messed up big time. Oh my god. let this happen? Didn't I warn you? How could you let this happen, Robert? How could you let this happen? You gambled $150,000 of our company money. You gambled our company money. You sunk our business. You gambled away our assets. Ah, Robert. You know what? I'm done with you. Between us, it is done. Ah, Robert. This one has crumbled you completely. I can't believe you gambled away $150,000. Oh my God. Please, Jenny. I will change. Just give me one more chance. One more chance. I don't think I will survive it. I had enough. And I told you before we came to be careful. I told you when we were coming. I told you not to allow yourself to be lured into gambling. And you promised me you would try. Now even the company you are trying to build with your friend has been drained by your uncontrollable passion for gambling. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. I am done with you. Please Jenny, don't go. Please don't go now. Not now. Jenny, please. Come back. Jenny. Please don't. Thank you for breaking my heart. Ah, Jenny! Come back! Yeah! Jenny, don't do this! Don't go now! Jenny!
And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Today, Bob Tech Company, a young and growing popular computer and communication company, established by Robert Martins and Tim Kani, two young promising communication engineers, has been reported shut down this afternoon until further notice, and its workers laid off due to some financial mismanagement on the part of the executive directors and top management staff of the company. Private hired forensic auditor is going through the records of the company to determine the actual source of the financial mismanagement. Several efforts made to contact the managing director, Mr. Robert Martins, has been futile, while his deputy, Mr. Tim Kane, cannot yet be reached for relevant comments on the sudden bankruptcy of the company. Olivia, I'm just hearing the news now. Mom, I lost my job. Huh? You lost your job? Yeah. <laughs> Olivia. 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 Why? You heard the news? Yes, baby, I just saw it just now. You just saw it? That is what you cost. I told you that man is ruined completely for what just happened that night. How? We came here to enjoy ourselves, but you chose to ruin a man's life completely, and you said... And I said what? I said what? He, he played the first, the second, the third game, he was winning, nobody complained. Now you, was, you, started, losing, you started losing four, five, six, and everybody will start putting all the blades on me. See, I don't like all these things you do to me. This, this man is not a young, he's not a small boy that will be dragging him by the neck as you stop playing now. Ah! It's, see, young lady, for the past one week you've been eating all this blame on me, I'm not liking it. Were you not the one who raised the suggestion of him going to the casino in the first place? So? Is he not your close friend? I've warned you of this strange passion of yours and see what you have caused to your close friend. Even in this house, when you tell me you're going out on Saturday night, you come back with empty wallets. But what do I say about winning games? And what about all the times that you have lost the games? Please! Ah. Couldn't get him. Oh, this is the first time that I'm calling. His number is switched off. Hmm. What could have happened to him? That was the bad news. Mismanagement of funds. I told my son that. That foundation of lies and falsehood on which he built his life cannot sustain him. Oh, Lord. Help this boy. Father of all creation, our God, King of the earth and heaven, we know you have begun to pull down the pillars of pride in our son. And we know you have begun to tear to shred his garment of pomposity and self-importance. But Lord, we beg you, show him mercy and let him live.
Tim, who was that nonsense I heard on the phone? What do you mean? You said you're putting off the marriage plans till further notice. Sweetheart, I simply said I need more time. The company I spent my whole life building has crumbled. I need to salvage what's left of it. That idiot destroyed it all with his gambling passion. We have to be patient. Oh, honey, our marriage plans have been on since before all these issues with your company came up. See, our friends, our relatives, everybody. They know we're getting married in two months' time. You can't just come up and say that you're moving our marriage plans to further notice. Evelyn, be reasonable. My company has sunk. I cannot combine marriage planning and business reconstruction. We're going to have to put forth the wedding planning and continue with the relationship. Till when? Till I'm not yet. I need more time. This time around, I'm building back this crumble business and I'm doing it by myself. Tim, 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 is, is, is this a plan to work out of this relationship? That is absolute rubbish. Okay, okay, agreed, agreed. But tell me this one thing, Tim. What is it? Do you really love me? What sort of question is that? And tell me, Tim, do you really love me? Of course, yes I do. And if you love me, let's get married in two months' time. We will get married like we have been planning. No way, Evelyn. We need money to do a lot of things. And I must first build my company. If you're serious, we will get married in two months like we've been planning. We will get married like we've been planning, and then we can build your company together. No! We're moving the whole thing till next year. Tim, this is the third time you're doing this. The third time. And this third time is the worst, Tim. I cannot do this anymore. You can't keep on breaking my heart. I can't continue with this kind of unseriousness, Tim. Swear, what are you doing? What are you doing? I, this cannot work! This cannot work. I don't see love in this. You cannot continue breaking my heart, Tim. They told me you would do this to me, just like you have done to all the other people before me, Tim. I'm very serious, I cannot do this anymore. I can't. Evelyn! Because I cannot. Evelyn! Evelyn! Come back! Mr. Robert? Mr. Robert? Mr. Robert? Robert? 
Mr. Robert? Is anyone home? Mr. Robert? Mr. Robert? Mr. Robert? Anyone home? Mr. Robert? Mr. Robert? Mr. Robert? Miss Robert? Anyone home? Miss Robert? Miss Robert? It's me, Olivia. Miss Robert? Step closer, I will blow off your head before I use the gun on myself. Miss Robert, please. Who said you to stop me? I must not live to see this shame. I must end it here now. Please, no, no, no. Don't, don't. Hey, why? Of what use the man who has failed in life and business? Eh? What's wrong with me? What strange business has possessed me to gamble away all the money? Eh? I've worked for five years. Eh? What? No, Miss, Miss Robert, please. Lady, I'll kill you now if you step any closer! Listen, listen to me, listen to me. I know a man, okay? I know a man who had 6,000 of this same strange spirit that you're talking about. And because of that, he was banished. He was banished in a graveyard beyond the sea. But there is a great man who went all the way to that graveyard. And, 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 and he spoke to this possessed man and he restored his life. And he became famous all over the land. I can never make it again. I must end it here and now. No, no, no. You can still make it. You can. If you allow this man to, to repair your, your, your broken life. My life is not broken. It is shattered. My friends are gone. My business is gone. My fiance who have treated so much has abandoned me. Mine is a shattered life. No, it's not true. I know a man who was abandoned by his family, his friends, and his relatives. And he was dumped, dumped by a pool. For 38 years, he was lying there. But this same great man I told you about, he came all the way to that pool. And by simply speaking, he restored his life. And he 
he became famous with popularity. Look, your situation is very simple. In, in the presence of this man, if you allow him to, to be your friend. I don't need any more friends. My friends have gone. The one I bought out for years has left me behind. Even you, I don't trust you. So leave now. Mr. Rocky, okay. I will leave you. I will leave you here and kill yourself. But let me ask you one question. What? Why do you want to kill yourself? I'll end it all here and now. No, if you die now, it's not going to end. Your sorrow and eternal agony will just begin. And you will open your eyes into unimaginable torment. You will die now to live in eternal agony. You will face the judgment of God in hellfire for taking your own life, for disobeying God, your maker. Things can be better for you. If you can allow this great man to, to restore your shattered life. You don't want to face the judgment of God in hellfire for taking your own life. I don't believe in that religious stuff. There are government prisons where prisoners are kept. Some are condemned to life and some to death. But God is wiser than men and he has his own prison where he keeps his own offenders. But let me tell you something. His prison is hellfire and the difference is it's eternal. There's no end of jail terms, no release on bail. Listen, Mr. Robert, you need his forgiveness. You need, you need to reconcile with him. Olivia! My business is shut down. You are among other people. I've been laid off. Why did you come here for me? Sir Robert, my mother told me that the Lord sent me to your company for a purpose. And I believe her. The third day I resumed in your company. The Lord told me that he was seeking for your attention. But you were so busy, you didn't have any space for him. The Lord told me that the devil hates you. And he wants to destroy you. But he loves you so much. And he wants to have a space in your heart. My parents are Christians. I grew up in a Christian home. I left the university. We had hearted man. I lost the love for God. Or anything to do with church or, or godliness. I jumped into the pool of sin and I swam freely in it. I entered into gambling, drinking, a woman. Oh God, my life is shattered. My business is gone. Oh God, can you bear this broken life? Can you gather this shattered, worthless life of mine and bring something good out of it again? Son. Father! Oh, Father. He is the master of the universe. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He created your life for a special purpose. And he's able to mend it to fit back to the exact purpose. Oh, Father. Yes, son. Your mother and I have never ceased praying for you. Because we believe that God has a Purpose for your life which the devil really hated. But we kept on begging God to have mercy on you. Drop that gun. There's not yet time for you to die. God has a great plan for you and will live to fulfill that purpose.
Yes. Hello, team. It's me, Robert. Yes. Why are you calling me? Thank you for picking my calls at last. I've called more than six times. So? Look, say what you need to say fast. I'm in the middle of a meeting. I'm calling because of the company. I wish to say. What company are you talking about? Bob Tech? <laughs> There's no company. I, the staff have been laid off. There's no business. This time around, I am going to make my own business and do it all by myself. Definitely will not be patron with you or anybody. I cannot believe I spent the last five years with someone that has a gambling virus in their brain. The, I spoke to the auditors, they've looked through the books and they told me there's a $20,000 left over in the, in the account. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna report this. I'm taking legal action. I'm reporting to the authorities. Cannot do this. Cannot. Yes, I know. I'm only calling to apologize for all the wrong things I've done to you and to ask for your forgiveness. I am deeply sorry and I'm asking you to forgive me. I am definitely going to report this to the auditors. I am taking legal action. I, I, cannot, be, I cannot believe you did this. Ah, Tim, there's, there's no need for that. I, I'll pay you back. The Lord will help me. Please. All right. Who was that? It was my business partner. He's threatening to take legal action for the money I need to pay. And how much is it? Twenty thousand. The accountant has made calculation of it. I wasn't expecting you. I'm sorry for invading your privacy. How are you? I was sleeping. Cut it. I said I wasn't expecting you in my house. And I'm not ready for any conversation with you. I'm only here to beg you to listen to what I have to say. Please. Hold it. Hold it. Robert, I told you it's over between us. And I'm not ready to open the chapter of our relationship again. It's over. I know you said so. I'm only here to apologize for the way I have mishandled you. The way I have broken your heart with gambling and even gambled with your own money. I am deeply sorry. And I'm asking you, please, forgive me. Robert, I, I told you before. I don't want to open that chapter again. I've forgiven you good and fine, but I've moved on with my life. Thank you very much. I am really appreciative. Thank you. Robert. Yes. What? What has happened to you? What did you notice? A strange change. I can't explain. I saw the light of the world, and it has transformed me. I have changed. Uh, uh, uh. What are you doing this evening? 
I'm going to see my pastor. Your pastor? Yes. Hello, good evening. Is that Olivia? Oh, yes. God bless you abundantly. Just want to thank you for the role the Lord used you to play to bring my sons back to the Lord. Oh, all the glory to the Lord, sir. I'm, I'm so happy I was able to do what the Lord told me to do. And I now believe God sent me to, to work at Bob Tech for a purpose. Eh? And sorry for the incidents at the Bob Tech. You lost your job. The company is shut down. You and other staff that laid off. No, sir. I, I was glad I was able to fulfill my divine assignment. Notwithstanding, God will provide another job for me. And how is he doing? Well, he's doing fine. It's getting more stabilized. We are going together to the church tomorrow. Want to say hi to him? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Hey. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for allowing the Lord to use you to save my life from suicide. Oh no, I'm glad I came when the Lord told me to look for you. I'm so sorry you lost your job. It's not a problem. At least I saved the soul. And it's my greatest joy. And your father told me you're going to church tomorrow. Yes, like a prodigal son. And we dedicated my life back to him. And my father is throwing a Thanksgiving party for me tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hello? 
Robert, I hope I didn't disturb you. Oh no, Tim. I just woke up. Sorry for missing your calls. Is what I heard about you true? What is it? Olivia told me she came to your house and met you about to commit suicide. Is it true? Robert, are you there? Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. She said you tried to shoot her with a gun for trying to help you. Is this true? Tim, Tim. It was the Lord who delivered me from killing myself. He used Olivia and my father to deliver me from untimely death. I am very grateful to both of them. I am thankful to the Lord my God who sprang my life. She said it took the arrival of your father to stop you from shooting yourself with a gun. Is it true? The most frightening aspect of it all was that I would have been burning in hellfire by now. I would have been God's eternal prison for dying a terrible sinner. This is very frightening, Robert. I was in the grip of demonic spirits, of drinking, gambling, and women. And I was about to face God in that condition. I would have been lost forever. It is, it is good news that you're still alive, Robert. No, brother. It is good news that I'm back to where I belong. I have strayed away from God's presence. And now I'm back to his peace and forgiveness. I am transformed and renewed by the power of Jesus Christ. You know what? I have a strong feeling within me to cancel your death. Oh, wait. Come again? Yes, Robert. I am putting that $20,000 you owe me behind me. I cancel the debt. I forgive you. Tim, you did what? You gamble with money, Robert, but I gamble with women. I have been in and out of relationships for the sixth time. And the seventh lady, Evelyn, walked out of me after postponing the wedding plans for the third time. So you see, I'm a terrible gambler. It is time I take inventory of my life. I need God. I need His peace. I need the type of transformation you now have. I too must not face God's judgment in this condition. Tim, Jesus created your life and only him can mend it. Because I ran away from him, my life was completely broken. Now I've handed it back to him. He's the one that manufactured it. And he's the only one that can fix it. I can't handle this confused and battered life of mine. I think I need his help. to the mechanic in the garage to fix it. When you have a problem with the water in your bathroom, you call a plumber to help you fix it. When you have a problem with the electrical connection in your house, you call an electrician to help you fix it. Who do you call when your life is in shambles? Who do you call when your life is becoming broken into pieces and the situations of your life cannot be handled? Who do you call when your load of sin is weighing you down and your life is becoming directionless? You call the creator of your life. Are you looking for peace and rest 
from the burden of your sins. In Matthew 11, 28 to 29, the Bible tells us, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. So if you want Jesus to take hold of your life, you need to come unto him. You can receive forgiveness and peace for your soul. If you are here this afternoon and you want to accept this Jesus to be your personal Lord and Savior, I want you to come to the altar right now. The Lord bless you. Church, <laughs> get to church. Hi, Robert. That's good. Yes, yes. I, had to come. I told you I'd to come all the way down here to witness the same peace that you have. It's it's been great. Thank you for talking with me yesterday, uh, and thank you for writing off the debt. You made me do it. A man thought he had everything with the success of his business. He has built an empire. But when the storms came down and the winds blew hard, everything he had shook to the those Baba TV. Oh, you came to this channel. Oh, I've been waiting for you. I mean, you in particular, you the viewer of this video. What do you find of a Just Baba TV? Full-length movies, short movies, a lot of edifying spoken word, musical videos, interactive section, interviews of your favorite celebrities. Oh, please just do well to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of our new released content. I would love to see you once again on Fed Joe's Baba TV. Fed Joe's Baba TV. Baba ni Baba I want to see you once again. Bye bye. Oh.